Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can resize any kind of object in Blender to a specific length in either centimeters, meters, or anything we have available right here. Whatever is your preference. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to resize this object to about, let's say, 7 centimeters or 70 millimeters. A fast way to do this for good reference as well is just to create another object. I'm going to go into the top-down view here. Put it right in the center. Scale it on the Y. So I pressed S and Y together for the scaling and just get it a little bit bigger, go into edit mode. And now with length selected over here in the edge info, we can see if we move the top uh, edge up here, just how far we're moving. That's actually kind of a bad angle. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, so right now it's at two millimeters roughly, which is actually incorrect. Because we scaled it, you've got to apply the scale in order to get accurate info when you actually 3D print this or whatever application you have it for. So I press control A when you have the object selected and just hit scale. And now this info right here you can see is a lot different. It's already at 55 millimeters. So let's move it all the way up to seven, as close to seven as we can get it. And you can usually get it on the dot. But just for the tutorial purposes, I'm actually, I got it on seven, that's good. So this is how far we'd have to scale this object. This is accurately 70 millimeters. So let's just scale this object up. Let's actually bring this down a little bit, roughly in the center, scale it, bring this a little bit up. You just want to match the length as close as you can here, and this is roughly it. So this would have a diameter of 70 millimeters if you actually 3D printed this, at least working from edge to edge. And that's an easy way to do it because you can reuse this reference point. This is 70 millimeters. You can also easily adjust this to varying lengths. But yeah, this is just one easy way to do it. Hope you learned something. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tutorial videos just like this. And thanks for watching.